Well, guys, we're back in the uh, back at the workbench today, working on a little project. I love uh, wire antennas. I try to make most all of my antennas resonant, but um, I like to have one that I can tune and experiment with. This is a little uh, auto antenna tuner. No, it's not auto. It's a antenna tuner I built up. Basically, it's a variable capacitor here, and we have it connected to a little uh, DC motor here. And then here's a rotary coil inductor, and it is connected also to a motor. And uh, I just put a little uh, jack here, and and uh, basically uh, I use just plain old Ethernet cables because uh, Ethernet cable is eight conductor. So I go there. And I built up a little control device for it right here. It's just a little box, simple box. Uh, I built this several years ago with two switches. And uh, basically used just a little uh, um, discarded uh, laptop power supply. Anything that can give you 12 to 20 volts is what I use. So, so again, uh, Ethernet plugs into it. And these switches are, are um, single pole double throw, meaning I can reverse the polarity. So um, I can, I have one set for capacitor, down is one direction, up is the other. Uh, this is the inductor. Let's see. I'll show you what it looks like as I try to tune it here. Let me see if I can get these closer together. You can see what's going on here. So watch the uh, rotary when I work the switch here. I'm going to increase the capacitance. I mean uh, the inductance. Here we go. So you can see uh, by uh, sending uh, 12 volts down and reversing the 12 volts, I can run the I can run a little motor uh, either way, uh, counterclockwise or clockwise. So that lets me tune the inductor. Once I get the inductor about where I want it, I can hit the capacitor and can actually turn the capacitor here. So between between uh, setting the number of turns, maybe even um, you know uh, half a turn, quarter turn, whatever, and a little capacitance here. I can get a pretty good match uh, to an antenna. This is just a little L network. It's uh, it's just a, a capacitor and an inductor. And uh, I'll bring coax into it here. And I'll probably come out with just a, a random long wire uh, right here, or vertical. So that's kind of what my um, uh, remote uh, tuner looks like. And it can uh, it looks like it could probably handle uh, a kilowatt pretty easy. I got good spacing on a capacitor and uh, good quality inductor there. So we're going to be playing with this outside. I'm going to hook it to about a 50 foot vertical and see uh, see how that works. So we'll uh, give you a little bit more information on this later. There it is, there's the uh, motorized tuner. I've got it sitting on top of my uh, waterproof cover here. Uh, underneath here, I've got all my uh, uh, LMR 400 cables come up underground in, into this box here. And uh, they have connectors and grounding bars. Sitting on top of that, I have a, uh, you can't see it, but in here I've got a uh, MFJ uh, 1.5 kilowatt auto tuner and that tunes the that tunes the uh, open line here I've got that goes up to 
If it goes up to a uh, extended double zap way up there, can't see it. And then on top of that, I'm putting my uh, motorized tuner here to play with the to play with this vertical wire here. I'm gonna go put a cover over this to keep it out of the rain, and we'll see how it does. Bringing my power in through my Ethernet uh, connection here. In my conduit, I ran uh, Ethernet uh, cables. Uh, that each, of course, eight conductors. So. Uh, I use that for a lot of things out here. Okay, uh, I put the uh, motorized antenna tuner out at the base of a 50 foot vertical piece of wire. And I've got the little control head that I built here. It's plugged in and it's connected through my Ethernet cable outside. Here's a. See if I can get this where you can see the meter. All right, we're on 40 meters. We're on uh, 72, 7237. So let's give it a little inductance and see what happens here. Watch the meter. All right, I see a little drop there. I'm gonna give it a little capacitance. Just kind of touch it up. Watch the meter. All right, that's about low. Let's give it a little bit more inductance. Duct that's coming down. Let's play with the capacitance a little more. Rock back and forth between the inductor and the capacitor. And we just got to find a point out there that's a meter turned off. Got to find a point out there that's got the lowest. A little less, a little less inductance. Play with the capacitor a little. Oh, too much. Bring the capacitance down a little. That's a little too much. Watch right there. Play with the inductance. That's not a bad match right there, actually. That's a pretty good match for um, 7237. All right, let's, uh, let's watch this tune again on 40 meters. I'm on 71. Let's go to 7180. I like it frequency. We, we talk a lot on that frequency. Somewhere around there. Okay, let's see. Now, we're going we're gonna to run the uh, inductance up a little. Watch the meter here. Coming down. Oh, it came down pretty good. Go back the other way a little. We'll go right about there. Let's hit some capacitance. You can see as the capacitor swings through its cycle, the, uh, the, the uh, match is changing. So let's go to a minimum. Right, right in there. See if I can find a, a little bit lower spot there. Coming down, it's coming down. Looks like we're getting real close right there to, well. Well, let's see, I had it closer. Gonna keep playing with it here. Well, you know what? That's not a bad match right there, actually. About a 1.1 at 50 ohms. So you can see the little remote control uh, motorized uh, tuner out there is it's doing pretty good. Well, we'll try it out on the air now, see how it, how it works. 
And there it is, uh, semi-waterproofed. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Just something to play with. Well, or that was the fox hole. That was the fox hole. Yeah.